you know tell the world that we're not just um, about Al Qaeda and suicide bomb blasts because when we won the 2020 World Cup, it, it, a lot of people in 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 the Western media were actually surprised at seeing so many people dancing on the street. I mean, they never uh, expected I, I, so I, many people to come out. I mean, for them, it was it it was it was something that they had to had to cover because it happens f- in their uh, mind very rarely in Pakistan. Uh, I know so because just, uh, if yeah. we could sell that, if we could if we could sell ourselves to the world i think i think would be in a much better place uh when you said um okay unko, they don't know they they expect these things to happen so rarely uh ek dafa i was talking to this girl a university mein to um mere saath mein dos bhi thi and oh, she takes a niqab or burqa everything aur hum dono pakistani hain but uh, we were talking to this canadian aur um kehti where did you guys study So my friend actually studied from uh, a Catholic school um, somewhere in Karachi. So she told her that, oh, I actually studied in a Catholic school. Kethiya, she was so surprised. Kethiya, you studied in a Catholic school in Pakistan? And I was going to say, yeah, isn't it amazing? We didn't get blown up. <laughs> But uh, it's so surprising for them that someone can study in a Catholic school in Pakistan and not be dead. <laughs> You see, it's 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 very sad what has happened to to their society because I see a lot of Americans and you know not Americans in gen- in particular but Western people, their their new generation to believe everything that the media tells them mm-hmm. and uh, and you see it's it's a great it's this great mental psychological game that's that's taking place right now. You have. you have fort fort being attacked and nobody in cnn is talking about the safety of american nuclear weapons you have yeah. a check post in ghq being attacked and everybody is talking about the, the safety of pakistan's nuclear weapons you have a b52 american bomber flying all over the united states carrying nuclear missiles and the pilot isn't you know aware of that, even aware of that nobody on the ground knows about that but nobody is talking about the safety of american nuclear weapons you see the problem is the media the western media has you know they've turned into gossip rags they yeah. they, they barely check their facts uh, it's not only our media which which is which became independent quote and quote independent i don't uh, you know sometimes they I doubt it too yeah so but you know their media then is showing things that 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 astounds me i mean it it um, it, it never ceases to amaze me how how easily they can misinterpret who we are and i think that's that's primarily the reason why a lot of americans and people in the west see pakistan as a country riddled with with religious extremists i mean yeah. it's it's sad they they don't know pakistan has one of the best rock and roll scenes in south asia they don't know that we we have a society you know a large part of its of of of, of whose, whose youth is is really energetic and really passionate about their country yeah well, i think well, that's where we that come in because i mean uh, میری بلیف یہ ہے کہ دیر آر سم تھنگس جو عام آدمی عام عوام کر سکتی ہے لائک فار ایگزامپل امپروونگ پاکستان امیج اسپیشلی جو لوگ باہر رہتے ہیں اینڈ دین دیر آر سم تھنگس دیٹ کے ناٹ بی ڈن ود آؤٹ دا اسٹیٹ فار ایگزامپل جو آپ نے کہا تھا یو نو امپروونگ آر فورن پالیسی دین امپروونگ آر ریلیشنس وہ ایک حد تک ہم لوگ کر سکتے ہیں وی کین امپروو آر امیج ابراڈ لیکن ود آؤٹ دا اسٹیٹس ہیلپ ایون دا میڈیا دیٹ یو ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ فاکس نیوز اینڈ ایوری تھنگ دے آر بیکس آئی دا اسٹیٹ اینڈ ملٹری مطلب یو کین ڈو ا لاٹ آف اسٹاف ود آؤٹ دا اسٹیٹ اور Well, you have you, in America right now. You have you have different interest groups. You have the military and uh, uh, the industrial complex that that needs uh, these wars to survive. Now, by the military, I, I'm not referring to the U.S. military or the people who wear the uniform, but I'm referring to those interest groups who control everything that that happens in their in the, in 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 their politics. So you see, you have certain inter- interest groups in the U.S. and President Eisenhower, he actually warned the United States about about these interest groups because he knew, being a military man, being someone who had fought World War II from a position of command, he need to avoid these wars as much as possible. And and he and he warned Americans long ago, in in uh, as soon as he became president. So I think you. you need to keep a check on those interest groups that control american society now and it's sad what has happened because you see 
Obama's health care plan has been rejected by almost 60% of Americans or something, but he's still going full steam. And you see, that's the, where the concept of democracy mm-hmm. comes in. It's, it, it, it has really blurred in modern day societies. Yeah, it's an oversimplification. They can... Uh, uh, I, you know, democracy is good on paper. I like... Uh, I personally prefer those benevolent dictatorships. If you, if you don't know how to stand in a line, I will pl- give my police baseball bats. And if you don't behave yourself, I'm I know. going to send you to a gulag in the coldest corners of the world. Come on. I know, but there are some I'm idealistic people who in these things that they don't know. I mean, okay, fine, baseball bats. <laughs> they can, I mean, if you tell people, especially people in the West, okay, you know what? I don't really mind having a dictator who's taking care of my needs rather than the de- kind of democratic governance that we're getting. They can but that's all a lot of talk we're not we don't have contacts and we don't have money okay so should I start crying now or are you going to ask me about something else <laughs> what do you mean uh, we don't have a lot of money or something we do oh, we have a lot of money oh I mean um, look, us like we're the next generation what can we do on you have a lot of money You're <laughs> yeah well it's a lot of talk like in what matters are your actions. That's what I believe. When we talk about it, we have to do better than Pakistan. I mean, everybody has their own ideas and everyone thinks they're right. I don't believe that just because I have a radio show, it means that I should just talk on and on. Armchair politics is really easy, but it's not the solution. So, so you've been doing this for the past 30 years? <laughs> doing what? This radio show, you know. No. You've been there... Q. No, I'm I'm just asking. I mean, you seem to know a lot of what happened 30 years ago. So I was asking, maybe you were yeah, there. Yeah, like I'm the kind of person who act, likes to think they know everything. That that that's nice to hear. I have my own delusions of grandeur. That, that's great. That's great. Women should be delusional because <laughs> when they, when they see the reality that it isn't good, and then they start torturing men. So you see. You seem to have a lot of stereotypes about women. No, there's, there's no, there are no stereotypes about women. It, there, there are certain biological imperatives that women can't, can't, can control. And then again, all of you read those stupid women's magazines. You know, I don't. What is, what is? <laughs> oh, 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 that's very nice to hear. That's, that's probably why you're doing, you're doing this radio show. Either, otherwise, the, the rest are busy watching Desperate Housewives or something. Yeah, you know. I know. The shortest line in any woman's magazine is this: "What do guys want from us? <laughs> Nothing. We're, we're, we're too busy. Really." They, those magazines are self-esteem killers. You know, or ten things to do when he comes to you, two things to say when he does it. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. They can, men do, there are men who take full advantage of that, no of doubt. Of course, of course, you, you know, according to a study, women spend almost a year trying, trying to work, work out what they have to wear. So, you know, it, how rude would it be if we didn't appreciate that? <laughs> We didn't appreciate the amount of time you and money you put in in in, in that lipstick and and makeup, you know. So I think or it's, it's 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 a very it's it's a very poetic and it's a very polite gesture from men. Or maybe it's kind of crude because, I mean, if you really feel that way, maybe you should just tell them, you know what? We like you the way you are, and we like oh, we you. Do. We, we do like tell you all we that. like you for your mind. No man will ever say that to a woman. No, look, look, let, let's wait, wait. No man will ever say that to a woman because men don't like to live in the stone age. You know, men, men 